Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I wanted to share with you guys what I spend in a week as a college student. I think these are so fun to watch and it's also kind of a wake up call. So it's just interesting to see like what you actually spend in a week. I definitely try not to spend any money since I'm not working right now, but obviously there's a few things that I do have to spend money on, and on this week my mom was in town, so we went shopping. Yeah, so that means for the next two weeks I'm probably not going to be buying anything at all, and I should look because I don't think I've bought a single thing since she's left, which is probably a good thing, so let's just get into the video. On Monday, I don't even remember doing this, but I spent $17.67 ordering sushi off of Grubhub. I I'm pretty sure I was having a bad day on this day, um, and that's why I did it. I just needed to cheer myself up, and it was very worth it. So I also spent $3.97 on Etsy for some presets, and... That was probably the worst $3.97 I've ever spent because they suck. I also spent $50 at Goodwill. Some of that was my mom's. I don't know how much off the top of my head. On Tuesday, as you guys will soon see, I spent the most money on food. So first I spent $5.45 at McDonald's, which I think I got a lot. So this is pretty good deal for what I spent. I also spent $35.44 at Target. I bought whiteboard markers, which we definitely needed, a conditioner bar, which I also kind of needed. I'm almost out of conditioner and I'm trying to save the earth, guys. I bought a couple more makeup things and gum or something. Then at Costco, I spent $10.78 on, I believe, juice and eggs. And then I also spent $9.98 buying Zach and I dinner. I think we got acai bowls. But then I kind of redeemed myself because Wednesday I did not spend a single penny. And same with Thursday. I didn't buy anything. I didn't spend any money on anything. I'm really proud of myself. So. Then on Friday, I spent $23.38 at Hobby Lobby and that was it. My mom did buy us some groceries, but I also bought her groceries so it kind of evens out later in the week. Then on Saturday, I spent $9.98 at St. Vinny's, which is a thrift store. I also spent $12.96 at Goodwill. Then I bought us lunch and we spent $16 at Panda Express. And then at one of my recurring payments, which isn't something I like spend money on every week, is my Amazon Prime, which was $6.49 because I have the student one. On Sunday, my last day of the week, I we paid rent, which technically I only paid half of this because Zach and I do split our rent, but it all came out of my account because I wrote the check. So we spent $1,140 on rent, but this just so happened to be the first day of the month. So this isn't something that we obviously spend money on every single week or we would be very broke. Then I spent $4.68 at Winco. Honestly, I have no, oh, I do know what I spent this on. I bought toilet paper, which is a necessity. Then another reoccurring payment was Spotify and that was $4.99. Then I spent $33.48 at Trader Joe's. So I spent a total of $1,382.25 this week, 
which considering I paid rent, I think that's pretty good and a pretty like reasonable price. Obviously, I'm not gonna go shopping every week. On bill stuff, I spent $1,151.39. I spent $98.04 on food and $135.73 on like fun shopping stuff. So that's how much I spent in a week as a college student. Again, we had to like pay rent this week. So that's not something I would typically spend money on every week, but I think I need to spend less money on food for sure. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I think these have been a lot of fun to watch lately. I saw one YouTuber do it and she spent like $14,000 and I'm just like, that is like so unnecessary. I'll put today's shout out right here on the screen. If you want a shout out, all you have to do is reply to my pinned comment down below and I'll randomly pick one person to give a shout out to. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.